Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, I did a bad thing. First of all, I forgot that you couldn't save the Deku link, and I turned off the NES. And second of all, I played a little bit and, and just uh, realized that my mic wasn't plugged in, so I wasn't recording voice. So I had to do all the shit over. So, let's get started. I'm going to have to play this little ginger fox uh, little game. Yeah, fuck you, fag. God, I hate that kid. Like, are the bombers supposed to stand up for, like, peace and justice and shit like that? Fuck, I missed it. But they're racist bastards. They're racist. They don't like black people. <laughs> sure. And he has a ginger army, too. If this doesn't scream South Park, I don't know what does. Come on, stand still. Okay, I'm gonna use Deku Nuts now because you can actually stun them. Ha, I just okay, I was about to say I just raped that kid, but that's politically incorrect considering he is a minor, so I will say I just flashbanged him and tagged him. I have to take this little motherfucker. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you, get back here. <sighs> wow, waste of a nut. Fuck you. Oh my god, you little motherfucker. Okay, if you go in that fucking... Okay, good. I was about to say, if he goes in that doorway, I'll be pissed as shit, dick. Okay, Tattle, will you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to chase a little boy here. God. I wonder if Michael Jackson had these problems. Oh, wow. I've never had this much fucking trouble trying to catch this little ginger fuck. Okay, good. Okay, to East Clock Town. Is that triangle, square, circle? Really? That definitely is. Wow. PlayStation reference? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Pretty sure one of the kids is on a roof. Right on top of the inn. So I'm just gonna get that little mofuck. Yeah, right there. And the other one's flying on a chicken. Yeah. No joke. That's one game mechanic I'm so glad they got rid of. Ocarina time flying on chickens was annoying as bullfuck. Come on, you little chicken fucker. Oh, you just decided to be a nigger today, didn't you? Wow. That's not annoying at all. Okay, good. Okay, okay good. I was about to say, if I leave the zone, I'll be pissed. There's none in South Clocktown. I know that for a fact. Very West Clock Town with a creepy pedo banker. Yeah, I actually legit thought this banker was a girl and that if I gave it any of my stuff that it would just take it. And I'd never get it back. Hey yeah, I finally got you, you dick. Yeah? Wow. 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 It's the KKK of Legend of Zelda. You guys are fucking assholes. You know that, right? Can't help that I'm made of wood. Okay. I don't think I'm going to write that down or anything. I'll just remember it. And I'm going to talk to this kid right here. And the code... Oh, fuck. Fuck! Okay, I had to uh, edit there. 
I had to go back to the video and look at what the code was. <laughs> I legit forgot it. I know. I'm a fucking failure. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just get to the shit. And I'm just going to run around here. Let's go through this thing. Okay, one. No, wait, yeah, one. Five. Wait, no. Fuck. Yeah, okay, here we go. One, four, five, three, two. Fuck yeah. Yeah, okay. You need to hear it twice, you ginger. I'm in this creepy little cave. By the way, if you spin right before you uh jump into water, it'll actually make you go a lot further. Another one of these fucking Majora balloons, which by the way are never explained, like really. If Majora's mask is such a creepy like forbidden mask, why are there fucking balloons with its picture on it? Skull could do that? I don't know. Oh shit. I'm definitely not gonna make it in time. Can I just say that this place has pretty much the most annoying music ever? I'm sorry. Okay, so this guy, uh. This guy plays with little boys. <laughs> Legit. He admits to it. Nothing creepy about that. A guy hidden deep underground. A place with no windows, just a telescope. You know, plays with little boys. Yeah. Okay, I always found this a bit creepy. Mostly because how does Skull Kid know exactly where you are at exactly that time? Am I the only one who finds that a bit creepy? Maybe I'm looking too deep into this. Can't you just give me that that moon steer? Whatever, I'll take this one. <laughs> I can fucking get my hands on it. Now I get to walk all the way back to Clock Town. Hooray! Fuck you, old man. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a Catholic priest too. No. Eh. Yeah. Okay, good. Ugh. I just wish I had the Song of Soaring at this point. That makes the game so much easier. I don't know. Would it be possible to beat the game without the Song of Soaring? Does anybody know that? I'm not sh I know it's one of the songs that you're not forced to learn, like... But you'd have to try to miss it if you actually did play the game without it. Like, Kapora, Gaborah, whatever the fuck the owl's name is, like, tells you about it when you're doing the woodfall part. I guess you don't have to read it, but... You know. Why wouldn't you? It's pretty much the most useful song in the game. Next to the inverted song of time. Okay, so now I give this little... Fat black man, my moon steer. Oh, man, I hate watching this cutscene. You'll see this cutscene a million fucking times if you play this game. Why the fuck can you not skip this shit? Okay, I love how you live in a flower. Here, take this shit. Yeah, sure, why not? It's not like I couldn't, you know. It's not like I could sell this for millions of dollars. Yeah, get your shit and get out. Take all your stolen TVs with you. Isn't he the Deku scrub that, like, lives in a hole in Termina Field now? Like, if you go to the light... I just said lighthouse. Telescope place. Whatever it's called. Observatory. If 
you went there, wouldn't it, like, couldn't you see him flying and, and you use him to get a piece of heart or some shit? It's been a while. I think I'm just going to pause it right here, guys. I don't want to make you wait. Watch me get, like, a lot of rupees. Well, actually, I'm going to show you um one run of me getting rupees here, and this is what I'm going to be doing until uh till 12 o'clock, third day. Go here, get, like, eight or nine rupees, then leave. Fuck. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to stop the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for part three, where I fuck Skullkids Shay up.